today I want you to, I want to, I would like to offer you the opportunity to make a wreath. Uh, don't stop it, this is not complicated. Um, it involves no flowers, because as we discussed yesterday, I, I don't work with flowers because everything dies on me. Um, it is a textiles wreath, and again, please don't stop, there is not a stitch on it, so you don't have to be able to sew to make the wreath, okay? But this is what you are aiming for. Oh, wrong way around. This. Okay, so. Ooh, I'm make that. Um, sorry, slightly distracted there. What I've done is I've taken um, a coat hanger. I had a, an old wire coat hanger. You know the ones you used to get from the um, dry cleaners. Um, and I've cut the, the hook off the top, just because otherwise it just gets in the way. Um, and I formed it into a circle. If you don't have one of those, you can use a circle of card. Um, if you've got some old polystyrene, you can cut a circle out of polystyrene. If you've got um, a floral, you know, you can get the, the proper rings that you make floral arrangements and wreaths on, you can use one of those as well. It's entirely up to you. And then I had an old quilt. Um, it was quite a lightweight quilt. So I've cut that into strips. Um, not good if it's feather, it has to be synthetic. Feather just goes everywhere. So it's a synthetic one. And I have wrapped it around. Now the only fastening method I have used was when I was doing that to hold it in place because I had to cut short strips because of the way the quilt was constructed. Um, and I just used gaffer tape to hold it together. I know it's not conventional, but it worked. So my quilt underneath the squishy stuff inside is held together with gaffer tape. And then all I've done is cut strips of the white sheets that I was talking about on Monday, the ones I've got hundreds of. So it could be if you wanted to old shirts, old t-shirts even would work if you're having a clear out. Um, anything really that you want and it doesn't have to be red white and blue I've just chosen red white and blue red white and blue because it kind of goes with that whole b-day patriotic thing so I wrapped mine first in the white fabric and then all I have done is I have can you see here I haven't even stitched I did say not a stitch I haven't even stitched I have tucked it in so I've wound it really tightly all the way around, overlapping it as I went. And then when I got back to here, I tucked it into my first loop that I went round. And that is holding it in place until I've tied my scarf round, which I'm gently tugging. Now, my red and blue were two old scarves that I had that... Um, I bought years ago and I've never used them and they're quite nice they're really nice bright colors but they're not black so um, and they're not muted colors so we decided to use them for this so all I've done is cut strips and I have tied them around now if you are capable of sewing you can sew them it's not a problem but I just wanted something that everybody can have a go at including little ones who can't sew so so uh, <laughs> it's been a very long week um, so I have tied those around all the way now that's meant to look a bit like a union jack so that's your fat crosses there and that's your skinny crosses there and then these are your bits of blue in the middle i have a very good imagination in the bottom my little helper bless him has made me some pom-poms um i think i should have probably gone for a slightly smaller pom-pom size but we went for this pom-pom size that's fine um, and he just made sure when he made them that you know how you wrap them round and round and round and round and round um, and then you cut them and then you tie the piece around to tie it really tight. I'm just assuming everybody knows how to make pom-poms. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the bit that you tie around, tie tight to hold all your little cut bits together make super duper long and then you can just tie them. Can you see this little bit of white string here? Oh, everything's backwards when you look at a camera. Here, so these have just been tied on, and you come out with this super duper wreath, which I think looks lovely. Alternatively, if you don't have textiles but you do have tissue paper, you can wrap tissue paper around it. And what you can do for your middle bit, if you don't have anything firm, you can actually create, and if you don't have padding or wadding, you can use newspaper. So just twist lengths of newspaper add those on and then gaffer tape or just masking tape or any kind of tape around them to hold them in place and that will give you that squidginess so it doesn't have to be really expensive um, it doesn't have to have loads of complicated equipment in it um, and loads of co complicated materials this is um, what i had in the house 
um, and I look forward to seeing what you've all produced. Tomorrow, really, really quick, simple one, because you're going to be getting ready for your, um, so there goes the cat, um, you're going to be getting ready for your, <laughs> your um, afternoon tea, hopefully, and your VE Day celebration. So, tomorrow, flags. Okay, bye.